in this video, I'm rolling with Joe. Joe is a very talented blue belt and uh, one of the funniest guys at the academy. He makes me laugh every time we roll and uh, he knows my game because we've been rolling together for about a year. And here we go. We're exchanging comedic tropes. Is that the right word? We're doing some hand fighting. I'm in my butterfly guard position. I'm working on a two-on-one with my foot on the hip. You see this, or at least I see this in what I do every time. I'm looking for that side. I'm looking to flank. I'm looking to sweep. Now I'm just using my butterfly guard to keep him off me. He's a lot stronger than me. Uh, he works in sanitation, I believe. And uh, they are strong people. So he's trying to grab my sleeve and pin my arm to the floor. But I was able to come back, wrist fight. Now I have his wrist. In the street. As we joke around. He's trying to peel my arms out, so I'm just hiding them underneath him. If I wanted to sweep him, I would just put my, I would cup his elbow. Because I'm in a good position as far as my feet, like right now especially. But I'm not really trying. I'm waiting to see what he does. Here, that was a good move, but he let me regard. He had to put pressure on that shin where I couldn't just slide it out so easy. He had to grab my ankle with his right hand and stop my shin from coming out, and then he would have completed that pass. Now he's trying to break my closed guard. I don't really hold on for, to closed guard very hard. I just look to get that back take, which I almost had there by getting behind the uh, tricep. I just want to wear him out. You know, he's a lot stronger than me. So there he tried to get up off my butterfly hooks and he went into my closed guard. Here I snatched a triangle and he's going to try to break out of it, but I was able to just flip him over with my hips. I noticed somebody did that a few months ago that they were, their hips were very active when in closed guard and they were able to flip their opponent in any direction by just twisting. And I felt like I knew that, but not to that level. So now I'm trying it more often. I did it with the white belt in that video. Now we're joking around, speaking in accents perhaps. So here again, I'm trying to come out that back door. I'm in half guard. Pushing down on the knee. Oh. He passed my guard there, and then he tried to jump over to the other side. Now, when he, you do that jump, you have to keep your feet together. That way, they don't get hooked, and you get stuck like this. From this position, I can always recover. I always lift. That's one of my favorite escapes. I lift him by, the, by his ankle, and I spin, and I bring my other foot in. I have a video called Hitting a Nice Escape on a Purple Belt where I do that. So now I have the pistol grip. The pistol grip's great for wrist control in the gi because it makes it hard for him to re-grab your wrist. Here I'm just feeling his weight, trying to trap an arm, trying to be casual while wearing him out at the same time, if that makes sense. Now we went for the double unders. As you could see, I just hooked my leg and then I was able to sweep and come up. So here I'm, I'm preventing him from re-guarding by pulling on his bottom leg, which is inefficient, but it ended up being enough. And here I switched to knee on belly. Here he's trying to turn into me. He's so strong that I have to be careful here because even with poor technique, he could roll me. Not to say that his technique is poor, but 
he's going to make fun of me for that one. So here I spun to the armbar position, Kimura position, but I'm really letting him, I want him to come up. I'm looking for the choke. So as he sits up, it makes it easier. And here I think I have his collar wrapped around his neck and I'm ready for the choke. And as you can see on the clock, there's two seconds left. So that ends the round. Another great round with Joe. So here I'm gonna have a little bonus footage for you. Because many times after the roll, we always talk about what happened. You know, or they have a question. Or I have a question. So in this instance, he's asking me why it was so hard to pass the butterfly. So I told him, well, show me what you mean. So as you could see, he's picking his butt up away from his ankles. Whenever you do that, it's a weak position. So when he leans forward and he picks his butt up, it allows me space to just go to full guard if I felt like it. But really what he wants to do, see, there's a perfect example. I went to full guard. But really what he wants to do is get to the outside of my shin. So when you're passing the butterfly guard, you want to flatten, so I'm telling him not to do that, you want to flatten the shin. So you keep the hooks in the middle. Well, here I'm explaining, don't ever give the legs space unless you're um, in control. But now I'm explaining how to pass. So you want to go to one side and flatten that leg. Once you flatten that leg, you lay your hips across the shin, and then he no longer has a defensive angle. So here he's practicing the leg pummeling. Because to be good at butterfly guard, you have to understand how it can be passed. So here, again, he's keeping the hooks in the middle instead of putting a, his hips fighting one leg. So as he walks, he, he could kick that hook off, and now he's got his shin, his legs against my shin, and then he could just hip switch and pass. So thank you for watching. I hope you appreciated the post-roll tips. I'm going to try to do those more often. And uh, please like, and if you already haven't, subscribe.